Bro. Yo. If you don't know about this game, you have not played the proper platformers. What's going on, Proper Squad? Fatal Steven here, and today I will be playing Buzz Lightyear to the Rescue. This game is probably my favorite platformer game I've ever played. Now, it's not like top tier game, like it's not a triple A title, it is a movie based game, but some of the memories I've had with this game, platforming, the charm to it, just just stuck with me, you know, and it stuck with me throughout the years. And you know, it is one of my favorite movies. The thing I love the most about it is the fact that you play as a little toy running around a big ass world. And I just love that feeling. I love I love the, the way it felt. So we're gonna hop into some levels and we're gonna check out Toy Story 2, the underrated platformer. I personally find it very underrated because this is the time where Mario 64 was out. So a lot of people are playing that, but this game is very similar to Mario 64, uh, where each level has five pizza planet tokens, or in Mario's case would be stars, and you have to get all the stars in each level to complete it. So that's pretty much it. Uh, this, this game had a funny thing where you could literally just get... Let's go, let's go Andy's house first. This game had a funny thing where you can literally just get um, one token, and it will count as completing the level. You can go to the next level just by getting one token. I am playing this game on PC. Oh man, I, like, isn't this awesome? Isn't this just so cool? Walking around as a toy in a big ass world, like, bro, more more games. There needs to be more games where you play as something small in um in like a house or something. You know what I mean? Like, I love the fact that I can run around a house as a little toy. Like, that's just hilarious. Like, I love it. There needs to be more games like that. I know, I remember, I know, I know there's some Nintendo game called Chibi Robo, very similar, you, you run around like levels like this. Ooh, zipline into the crib. I already beat all these levels by the way. Uh, you can lock on like this. Isn't it funny? You can literally see Buzz Lightyear's face, you can see his reflection on his helmet. Like, that's pretty detailed. You know, that's a cool detail. I like that. I like how they added that. Uh, I am I am playing this game on the PC. It's it's not like the PC version. It's just like a emulated version on PC. Um, I play with... And it's compatible with an Xbox controller, which is pretty sick. Now, the one thing I love about this game is um, the music. The music is just so good. Especially the, the theme songs to the boss fights. Every level has a mini boss. Um, this boss might be already defeated, so I don't think I can. Oh, yeah, here he is. So here is the robot mini boss. Every level has a mini boss, and now these bosses are no like you know, hard, dark demon souls type bosses. Like they're very easy. But uh, just listen to that music. Ooh, love it. Isn't that, isn't that some great music? I miss, I'm missing the super laser. The super laser, you can destroy this robot in like three super lasers. By just charging laser up, but I keep missing it. There you go. So, as you can see, when you beat, when you beat the mini boss, you get a, a token. And when you grab the token, you can just leave the level. See how it says, exit level? You can just go to the next level. But we're gonna keep on playing. So this is the attic. There's no fall damage, so you can just... It's a lot of fun just jumping off stuff that's really high, especially the second level when you're on, on the big tree. Always love jumping on the railing here, grabbing the battery. Like, isn't this awesome? Look at this. You're in Andy's house! Like, I'm sure a lot of people have watched Toy Story, man. Like, and, and, and with that scene where you see Andy's birthday party, I've always said to myself, man, I would love to just explore the house. And now you can in this game. 
there, this game needs to be remastered, bro. Uh, when it comes to ham, uh, you, you have to give him 50 tokens and he gives you a pizza planet token. Or 50 coins, I should say. Bounce on that. This game needs to be remastered. And I hope... I hope people shed more light on how underrated this platformer game was. And like, with, with Toy Story still being a thing, you know what I mean? Like, with Toy Story still being a huge thing and remasters... You know, being a, a big thing in, in uh, nowadays, especially with that recent Disney uh, remaster collection of Lion King and Aladdin, right? Like now is the perfect time to re remaster the Toy Story series. So here is the the garage, as you can see, Andy's mom's minivan. I just I just love seeing all these things from the movie. It's probably the best movie game, uh, as well as Toy Story Three. Toy Story Three was a pretty really pretty fun movie game too. So every track you can race RC car as well. Let's check out the kitchen. So there's Bo Peep. Bo Peep wants her sheep. You need to get five of them. One thing about this game, the the, the grabbing red like the grabbing um, hit reg was a little it's a little weird. Like grabbing onto ledges. Sometimes it just won't connect, and you'll be like grabbing the ledge, but he won't he won't connect with it. So you gotta push the skill. You gotta go like that. Boing, go over here, grab that sheep, there we go. I highly recommend you guys check out the speed run to this game by Capri Dog. I'll have it in the description. This game is a lot of fun to watch speed run, sped run through. A lot of cool tricks. I love looking at the window of these games. It's just a copy copy and paste of the house. Pretty funny. Like I know, obviously, you know, for its time of a PS1 game and a 1064 game. But I just find, I just love looking back at like how games were, you know? All right, first and foremost, soundtrack again. Love the soundtrack in this game. It's just so jazzy. I love it. This lawnmower here, as a kid, I've always wanted to kill it and destroy it. And you're wondering, you can't destroy the lawnmower. Why would you even think that? Well, because your bullets, your lasers bounce right off it. But you can also lock onto it. It's the only other thing in this game besides actual killable enemies that you can lock onto. But you can't destroy it. So you can lock onto it. It can't hurt you if you touch it. But you can't destroy it. Now I've talked, now I've spoken to the modders in the Discord of this game and I've asked them to like somehow figure out how to change the code of this game for the PC version and allow us to kill that lawnmower. So if there's an experienced modder out there that knows how to do that by maybe changing some hex code or something, please send me a clip on my Twitter, at Fiddlecrowser, at you killing that lawnmower or destroying that lawnmower. I would love to see it. It would really satisfy inner me and child me. That would It would really satisfy mini fatal okay so if you know if you're experienced you know how to do that please send me a clip on twitter now the cool thing about this game is that to race the rc car here you actually need these rocket boots but you don't get these rocket boots unlocked until you complete a task for mr potato head later on and then you have to come back to this level because rc car is just too fast but there's a way to cheese it and still beat rc car without the rocket boots and i'm gonna show you guys how to do it right now this is how I this is how I would always do it as a kid, cause I didn't I hate it I hate backtracking in games. So as a kid, I was like, nah, I'm not gonna backtrack. I want to move forward. So I'm gonna try and complete the whole level, unless I'm forced not to. You know what I mean? So how to do it? Just like this. So once the race starts, you want to go over here, and each time you got to jump, you want to just stop and let him bump into you. Once he bumps into you, then you can jump. And you want to just stay ahead of him. You always want to make sure that he bumps into you and never passes you. Because the moment he passes you, it is over for you. You cannot keep up. You cannot catch up with them without the rocket boot. So right here, you want to stay in front of the puddle, jump over it. And you just want to repeat that the whole time. And by, and by the time... And eventually, you will win without the rocket boots. Because he keeps on bumping into you. 
So here's the, there you go. I already completed the first lap. Boom. He bumped into me again. And that's all you gotta do. So when I noticed as a kid that RC actually doesn't push you and he just bumps you and stops for like two seconds, I realized that I could just keep having him bump into me and I will always stay ahead. Like that. <laughs> no matter what. No matter what. You will always stay ahead of RC car. Just like that, you beat RC car without touching the rocket boots. And I would do that as a kid every time. Another great thing to do in this level is climbing the tree. Now, personally as a kid, and I'm sure many other players as well, this tree was a bitch to climb. There was always that one branch that you would miss, and once you miss something on this tree, you are falling all the way down. All the way down, and it's a and it's a and it's a hassle to climb back up. So once you get to the top, though, it's it's a lot of fun jumping off and just seeing the view. So let's try and get up here. This is also where the boss fight is for the kite, a uh, Zerg kite. Yes, you fight a kite in this game. You don't blame me? Well, just wait and see. Flawless. Still got it. And as you can see right here, there is the kite boss fight. It's literally just Zerg as a kite. But this guy was a bitch to fight because the moment you fell off, uh, if he hits you and you fell off, you have a you have to go you have to come all the way out. You have to come all the way back up, right? So if you charge your laser up, you can actually kill these bosses a lot faster. As I just say that, he almost kills me. There we go, dead. So that right there is the Zerg kite boss fight. Like I said, these mini bosses are real easy. They're just they're just fun to do. You know what I mean? And once you're up here, you can see the whole map. There is the there's the back uh, there's one of the backyards of the neighbors, and I believe the swimming pool is right over here, or over here was it? Yeah, there's the swimming pool. I always like climbing top of this right here, and then trying to jump into the pool from here. I'm not sure if it's doable, but as a kid, I've always tried. And see, once you once you miss like once you miss it like that, it's a little hard. Perfect. Okay. I always like to stand up top of here, just take in the scenery, and then try and jump into the pool from the very top of this tree. Boom! Now that's a dive right there. That's a dive. Uh, I believe it's possible to grab the token as well from jumping on top of it, but I've never, I've never been able to do it. To get that token, you have to uh, jump on this inflatable right here. Jump on this inflatable, then you just bounce on top of it. Al's Penthouse, another great level where you can explore a house type setting. Obviously, a really good soundtrack again. Like, move over Red Dead Redemption, you know what I'm saying? When you go through the vent that is hidden behind his TV, right? I found that I always find that amusing. There's a vent hidden behind his TV. So when you go through that, you end up in the bathroom. Now the amusing thing about this bathroom is that you can actually flood it by pushing these buttons. It fills up the the, the bathroom with water. As you can see, it's flooded now. And you have to jump on these sponges, and then you have to push each button to go higher and higher. So you go like this. Meanwhile, Ham is just in the bathtub drowning. He's, he's just right there drowning, asking for our help. So, he pushed the button once. Now here's the second time. Boom. Jump on the sponge right away. Watch You gotta watch the cannons. That's, th that's why we're here. We're destroying the cannons, actually. And as you can see, once once this bathroom is flooded, I don't know how it's possible, but the bathroom gets flooded to the, the ceiling practically. You would think that water would go through this open vent, right? And like through that, but nope, it just, it has a self-draining system and it automatically drains the moment you touch this vent. So Owl's, Owl's penthouse is, is pretty advanced, you know, pretty advanced. The mini boss for this level was, uh, 
a gunslinger, I believe, yes. And I always find it, you know what's funny? You see, you notice how this guy is shooting at me? This toy right here shooting at me with an actual gun, right? I'm not sure if you guys know, but in Spyro Remastered, they actually, they actually removed the Norks that use real guns, and they turned them into paintball guns. So, I don't know why, but they turned the... The, the M4s, the, the machine guns they were using, and they turned them into paintball guns. Now, there's always a thought in the back of my head that if they remastered this game, they would either remove these enemies completely, or they would make them use paintball guns just like they did with Spyro. Don't know why that's the thing to do nowadays, but apparently it is. Here is Al's room right here from the movie. This is where, you know, Woody's collection is. Al's collection of uh, Woody and everything. That's the four glass canisters where Woody, Jesse, uh, Stinky Pete, and Bullseye would be in. And there's that stand of Woody right there. Love it. So this is where you fight the boss, the mini boss. And yes, he's an actual just cowboy. He's a gunslinger. He, he legit shoots you with two pistols. Again, I believe that boss fight would, would be completely changed or removed in a remaster. There's a box I gotta push. I love the way he pushes. Just sounds like he's about to take a big shit. This is just just listen. <laughs> Bro, that shit always killed me. There we go, there we go. Up here, avoid the cannons. Push the rare lunchbox of Bullseye and Woody. There's a snake in my boot, apparently. Remember that thing from the movie? Like, you, you grab the ball and you throw it at his teeth. Ow. That's rude. This TV, this TV does spark and it does hurt you. Oh my god, that bird, that, that bird almost threw me off. Kill that cannon. So right here is where the mini-boss is. Super easy. There he is. As you can see, he's a gunslinger. Ha 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 ha! Defeat the gunslinger boss to get a Pizza Planet token. See what I mean? Like, he, he legit shoots you with two revolvers. So, this is the boss fight with Arthur Morgan right here. There we go. Dead. You can still aim at him when he's dead. Besides mini bosses, this game also has main bosses. One being a plane, evil evil emperor Zerg, Stinky Pete. I'm sure there's others I forgot. Oh yeah, there's this big slime monster as well. On the emulated PC version. The boss fight for Zerg is actually completely broken. And how so, you ask? Well, he is supersonic speed. And I mean like supersonic speed. You cannot hit him. You cannot hit this guy. Look how fast he goes. Look, look, look. I need, you need to hit him. He's, he, he will dodge everything. He will dodge everything. The only way to get him is you have to trap him in the corner and then jump and hit him like this. You trap him in the corner like that, boom, there we go. And then you gotta hit him. That's the only way to kill that's the only way to hit him. You keep him in this corner right here. And then you jump back down. You hit him and then jump back onto the platform. Normally this boss fight is so slow. Yes, I made it. Oh, I, I, I tried to go for- I tried to double dip. I tried to double dip. Didn't work. Didn't work. Like I said, if you watch the- if you watch the speed run out of this game by Capri Dog, he absolutely obliterates this game. He goes through every single glitch so fast. 
it's it's such a fun speed run to watch go ahead and check it out link in the description Al Spaceland is another great um, level to explore because you're exploring a big store the green laser in this game is like an automatic laser it's a one shot in every enemy except like the shielded ones and all that stuff uh, you can hold the trigger on it and it fucking just blasts everyone like this it'll even destroy mini bosses too There we go. This this orb here, you get special abilities by helping Mr. Potato Head with tasks. So I've already beaten this game, that's why I have all the abilities unlocked. But if I didn't help us if I didn't help with the task, it would have been locked. The Zerg toys hitting me. They're fighting each other. Zerg, the Zerg and Buzz Laters are fighting each other. There's, there's Mr. Piggy Bang. The arcade, the arcade section in this uh, map is pretty good. And the reason why is because you can jump into the ball pit. Jump in this cup right here. You go on top of this. This right here is the secret token. Every level has one secret token you have to find. There we go. Once you go on top of the ball pit, you can jump in this glass right here. And there you go, you're in the ball pit. And like you do you do sort of sink into it. It's pretty fun. It's pretty cool. Like Buzz actually sinks into it. You know, all the balls get thrown around. <laughs> you can like glide on top of it if you keep jumping. You go and you can go through right here. Now, I don't know what kid is going in here, you know what I mean? Like, considering the only entrance is through the top. So, if a kid fell in here, they'd be encased in glass. And, uh, probably die. Unless they climb this pole here and get out the only entrance. So, not very kid safe. This arcade is not passing inspection. The last thing, the last thing I gotta show you guys is Woody's face in this game, bro. The final showdown, you fight Prospector. But also like two other mini bosses that you fought early on. You also fight Prospector as well as a mini boss, but the best thing is Woody. The way Woody sh is like flailing his hands in his face. His face is hilarious. Look at his face, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, so you fight the gunslinger and the the blacksmith as well as Pete. And like I said, you fight you fight Pete as a uh, as a mini boss, anyways. So they all they all collectively share health. You just gotta go around them. Blacksmith is the most annoying one. They had they, they share a collective health. So once you uh, start eliminating their health, eventually one will die, and then you have the other ones. 
There you go. Blacksmith is dead. You can only spin them. There you go. Now it's just stinky ass Pete. Dead. So fairly easy final boss fight. And then you can see Woody's stupid ass face again. And then boss defeated. Game one! <laughs> that right there guys is Toy Story 2. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. Personally an underrated platformer. Let me know if you guys agree. Um, let me know if you guys agree that this game should be remastered as well. Because I personally really hope it gets remastered. And I hope this video sheds light on that. If you guys want to check out a cool speed run. I know I said it already for the third time. Check the link in the description for that speed run. If you guys find out how to kill that lawnmower in Andy's neighborhood. Post a clip. Tag it on my Twitter. At Fatal Krauser. I would love to, I would love to watch it. So thanks for watching guys. Fatal Steven out. Peace. I'm